There's going to be more into it as you delve into the course because certain questions will get them to really look inside. And that's so important. So in the course, it's so important to know how to prime the client as you're stretching them or as you're doing your body work. Even with Reiki, you'll feel that energy and then you can still talk to them. They don't need to be totally quiet and they actually don't need to have their eyes closed. They can be quite awake and conscious because when you think about it, being in that trance state, like if you're glaring and you're just looking at something and you don't know what you're looking at but you're staring at something, that's trance. So your eyes are opened. Um, you're driving to a friend's place or to work and you know exactly where to go. You, your body is just moving the car to that direction. You're, you're totally tranced out. You're not thinking about anything. But you just know how to get there and what to do. Don't worry about that the eyes have to be closed or they have to be in this meditative state. They really don't have to. So when you're doing Reiki or body work or healing, you can just still talk to them and they'll feel that. And what happens, they're also getting a, an emotional clearing. So even though you clear the body, even though you're clearing the joints and the muscles and the tensions and you're getting flexibility and that's fantastic, but integrating that with an emotional clearing as well, they'll just feel so different. And it's hard to explain until you actually do the work and get that feedback from your client because when you do get that feedback of their incredible change, you want to do more and more and you want to get more results. And as a therapist, as a body worker, it's not hard on your body. It's not so exhausting. You don't feel so burnt out because they're doing all the work. As you've got the resistant client, as you've got them relaxed, there's no pressure that you have to do. You don't have to put in that much effort on your part to get them relaxed. Once you've done your body work and you've gotten them into a very trance-like state, this is the most important part because this is where all the change really happens. Now that you've got them relaxed and really spaced out and into that feeling, you can then get them to process even more deeply. And the processing is their unconscious mind and they'll just be still. You don't have to tell them to be quiet or stop talking. They will just stop talking like that. They will be processing and they might even have some emotional release and that's fine. And they'll still be aware of you moving around and touching them. But here in the mind, emotionally, in that unconscious state, they are processing the whole conversation that you've had with them. They're processing and it's good to then just really utilise that time, utilise the moment that they are processing because not only are they clearing, but they're clearing the tension in their body. And being in the neck where they hold so much emotion, so much stress, you'll feel it just release even more. And while you've got them, this is the perfect time to get them to integrate that and process that and find out how they're feeling. And then you'll ask them again, how is the problem? How is that? pain in that particular, it could be down on their foot. What's happening with the foot? What's happening with the calf? How's that feeling now? So you're not putting any more time or effort as a therapist because as soon as the body lets go, you are able to work your magic, whatever modality it is.